Welcome back. The temperatures sure have skyrocketed since this morning. I know, and they were kind of hanging around in the upper 70s, low 80s mm -hmm. for a little bit, and then the clouds broke and up they go. <laughs> and so do the feels like temperatures as we take a live look this afternoon down at the fairgrounds in Perry. Uh, according to the clock there, it is 1216 in the afternoon. That is also according to the clock that is right in front of me that is easier to read. All right, 87 degrees uh, down there in Perry right now, but it feels like 94 thanks to this dew point of 73. It's a sticky afternoon out there. It's 85 in Byron now, 86 in Fort Valley, 86 in Butler, 85 in Crawford County where they went back to school today. Also back to school in Dublin where it is 90 degrees right now down in Dodge County. They made their way back to the classroom. 88 for recess down there in Dodge County, 17 minutes after 12. Here's a look at those dew points. You can see the arrows coming from the Atlantic Ocean. It is a very humid afternoon. 75 is the dew point in Gordon as well as in Macon. 76 in Warner Robins. All that to say when you add it all up, feels like 100 in Milledgeville, 100 in Butler, 97 in Americus, 96 in Dublin, and it's only 1217 in the afternoon. Across the southeast, mostly quiet, starting to develop some showers now into Alabama, Mississippi. I suspect we will do the same here in central Georgia before too long. You might remember we had a line of storms crossing the Arkansas state line this morning. That is slowly falling apart as expected and not going to make its way to central Georgia. So as we head through the day today, here come the isolated showers and storms. Overall, about a 30% chance of rain today. Locally heavy downpour pours will be possible, frequent lightning, gusty winds. Everything will be moving, generally speaking, from south to north today. And then once we head into the evening tonight, I do think that all of the shower and storm activity will go away, as it does most nights, and we will be clear by the 11 p.m. hour. And then once we get into tomorrow morning, maybe a stray shower or two, but I think a majority of the activity is going to come tomorrow afternoon with an even lower rain chance than we're going to have today across central Georgia, overall about 20%. And then once we get into Saturday, you can see not a whole lot going on, but we do still have this isolated showers and storms. Then into Sunday, it's trending drier than it had been days previous. However, I do think the better chance rain is going to be at night, Sunday night into Monday. And then watch this now as we get into Tuesday. You can kind of see what resembles a front up here in the parts of Virginia, Tennessee coming south. Yes, both models are hinting at a front approaching. Now, whether or not that front's able to make it through remains to be seen. But if it is able to do that, it would drop our temperatures, drop our humidity, also drive up our rain chances by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. But again, a lot to watch on that. A lot of moving parts. The humidity not going anywhere anytime soon. We're looking at dew points in the 70s for at least the next seven days, which puts us in the very muggy range. High temperature today right around 92. It's going to be hot and humid with that 30% chance of rain and those heat index values. They're going to be up there through much of the afternoon, feeling like the upper 90s here in central Georgia. So if you don't have a shower or storm nearby or over you, maybe a good day to head to the pool with it being pretty warm out there. But if you do, if you do hear thunder off in the distance, uh, you are close enough to be struck by lightning, so that means it's time to head inside. Here's the next three days, 93 tomorrow, as well as Saturday, 90 on Sunday, a 20% chance of rain for the next three days. The seven-day forecast shapes up like this. On into next week, we are going to keep that 30% chance of rain around until Wednesday. Then it goes up to 40% by the time we get to the middle part of next week, thanks to that front approaching. Again, that's kind of written in pencil. We'll update that as we get closer. Caitlin?